Hey, guys. Hey, my baby brother. <laughs> I've got your baby. I've got your Rosa. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, my 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 Oh my god, I can't I can't believe Hi, Joe. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Can everyone hear me? This is a great, great, incredible crowd. Um, it is a wonderful afternoon. Uh, my name is Tom McNamara. I'm the Vice President for Institutional Advancement here at Worcester State University. Uh, and it's really my honor and pleasure to welcome you to this very special occasion. And a special welcome to uh, Lillian's family, who I've had a chance to meet just now. The little brother, right? Little brother? I'm <laughs> <laughs> two little brothers. Yeah, two little brothers. So, it's the youngest. <laughs> but, uh, the youngest, the youngest. I'm the youngest, too. Uh, but welcome. Today is a historic day at Worcester State University, and also quite fitting that we gather on National Nurses Day to dedicate our premier nursing department in honor of Dr. Lillian R. Goodman. For this for her unwavering support of nursing education and in particular for the profound profound role and difference her countless contributions have made in the field of nursing uh, to made at Worcester State University I noted this before but when I hear dr. Goodman's name several adjectives immediately come to mind exemplary leader visionary pioneer mentor philanthropist. As the founding chair of the Worcester State University Nursing Department, Dr. Goodman led by example, strong in her convictions, dedicated to the department, its faculty, and always, always the nursing students. In my mind, Dr. Goodman epitomizes true leadership. For these reasons, and so many others, the Board of Trustees and I recognize John Brissett as the chair. We'll hear from him later on. He's way back there, but he was another person very involved. The Board of Trustees of Worcester State University unanimously voted to name this Department of Nursing in Dr. Goodman's honor. I would now like to ask uh, Dr. Goodman to join me Please, if you could help me lift this up, we'll unveil the... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll help. I can still reach. I'll help. Whoa! It's good to be alive. <laughs> from whom I just learned about what happened to her. <laughs> she said, it's been, life has been surreal ever since the day she walked into my office. <laughs> that was the state. She knew I was going to be on sabbatical and, she, and, and do a study. And she asked if she could work with me instead of taking the research course. <laughs> <laughs> And, I, and she said, I could have said no, you do what everybody else does. But you know, I learned from the great master of adult education, Malcolm Knowles. He was a marvelous teacher. He was my mentor. You gotta think differently. You gotta do things differently. And education has to be different. It has to respect older people. And that's what I have done. 
from the faculty to the students. That's what I believe in. So anyway, I'm not supposed to make a speech now, but <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But it is surreal and, and it's very meaningful and I can't tell you how much. I'm really privileged and, and uh, privileged to take part in this part of the ceremony, but I do want to thank you all for coming. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> thank you. It's what a week on Worcester State campus. Um, it really has been an incredible time. It was a little over a week ago. We had a wonderful alumnus, Dr. Emu Asik Isiku, who is here on campus. Uh, he happens just to be a neurosurgeon. Uh, in Houston, came to campus and spoke about his efforts uh, on the rehab with uh, Gabby Giffords, U.S. Rep. Gabby Giffords. Uh, then this last weekend, we had a wonderful scholarship tea honoring uh, Drs. Pappas here on campus and their connection and their support of the community. Uh, we had a wonderful event Tuesday evening uh, celebrating uh, with Lillian and Mary Kay. Last evening, an, a, another great ceremony honoring our distinguished alumni, including Ellen Goucher, who really, uh, I said it best when she noted Dr. Goodman was a mentor to her. And then I think tonight is the grand finale. Uh, it really is for a week. Uh, just upstairs, at standing room only for the formal dedication of the Dr. Lillian R. Goodman uh, Department of Nursing here at Worcester State. Now it's my distinct pleasure to um, welcome to the podium uh, someone that really cares about the students at Worcester State. Uh, he's here to say a few words and bring greetings from the Board of Trustees, our Board of Trustees Chair, Mr. John Brissett. Thank you, Tom. It's truly an honor to be here this evening. Uh, to bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I'd like to welcome you all. I'm delighted also to welcome, as most of you don't know and do not know, uh, Dr. Janelle Ashley, the first woman president, the 10th president of this great institution, announced her retirement uh, in, in uh, August, and she'll be leaving us very soon, unfortunately, so I just want to recognize Dr. Ashley, if you please stand. Back in, in uh, I think, September, October, Mary Kay came to me uh, with Lillian, and she said to me, we need to get some more nursing students here. We get 700 students that apply to this nursing program every year. We can only accept 60. Um, it's really a really difficult thing. We get the best of the best here. So Mary Kay came to me and, and, and said, John, why don't we look at uh, doing a partnership with Mass College uh, of Pharmacy, Health and Sciences? I said, hmm, good idea, because I think partnerships and public-private partnerships are a good idea. So I said, what do we have to do? I said, just let's do it. So let's start in June, let's start in September. She said, no, I don't think we can get it done. I said, yes, we can. So she went and did all the, uh, talked with Charlie Monaghan from Mass College and, and did all the things that she had to do. Uh, and I'm proud to say that in September, we are going to be admitting 50 students uh, to Worcester State College who graduate, come to our place for two years, uh, graduate from us with a bachelor's degree in health, Science, correct. I was a business major. Uh, after you, it's, it's an accelerated program. After they get done here, they transfer over to Mass College and they take the, the nursing uh, classes that they need to take and they'll graduate with a dual degree in nursing. And we're able to take 50 additional students as well as they've agreed to house those students there. So that's a really exciting thing that we do and that's because of the two of you and uh, I want to thank you for all your work. I am so proud here to be here tonight to celebrate uh, this achievement and this recognition to, to you, uh, Dr. Goodman. You are truly deserving. I did not realize um, the extent that you have done for this institution and what you've done in this nursing program. And I am so proud to be here and to, to recognize you uh, for this achievement. It's, it's well deserved. And uh, as the chairman of the Board of Trustees, I was privileged to have taken that vote back in our meeting in April. I also want to thank her dear friend Mary Kay Alexander for all you've done to help this dedication a reality. We are very fortunate to have Lillian and Mary Kay as part of our university family. This is what makes us great. This is what makes us grow and proud. So thank you and enjoy the evening. What a great evening following a great day at Worcester State. In celebration of National Nurses Week, we, had, we have hosted an informative nursing symposium 
featuring three outstanding alums, uh, Stephanie Chaluka, Cynthia French, and Marianne Mazzo. Thank you for really your presentations today and for your involvement here on campus. Appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to keynote remarks later this evening uh, from alumna Ellen Gutcher as well. She is both a graduate of the anniversary class and serves on the Goodman Naming Initiative Committee uh, with Jean Campanella and Ann Burgess. And on a personal note, I have to thank them, those that have worked so very hard and have been truly engaged in this process. Uh, they made countless phone calls, stayed with the process every step of the way to ensure that it was, uh, this wonderful dedication was brought to fruition. So thank you so much, Jean, Ann, Ellen, uh, and Mary Kay. Thank you so much. It gives me great pleasure to invite Dr. Ann Burgess, one of the co-chairs of the Goodman Naming Initiative, and a dear friend of Lillian's to the podium. Ann is an alumna of Worcester State University's nursing program, graduating in 1977 with her Bachelor of Science in Nursing. In addition, she has a Master's of Education from Worcester State University, a Master's of Science in Nursing from Anna Maria College, a Master's in Nursing as a Nurse Practitioner from UMass Worcester, and a Doctorate in Education from UMass Amherst. I don't know when she worked, but she did a great job getting these degrees. <laughs> Uh, Ann's career included leadership positions at many of the fine medical institutions in the Worcester area. She's been a staunch supporter of this initiative and has provided invaluable support to our fundraising efforts in honor of her friend and mentor, Dr. Lillian Goodman. When Lillian arrived to, into Worcester, she was ready to launch the first school of nursing based on college campus, campus offering a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing in the Worcester area. Her work was a little more complicated than she realized. She found a somewhat hostile com uh, community of nursing and four very strong directors of nursing who were diploma-based schools and wanted to stay that way. Needless to say, Dr. Goodman had some hoops to jump through and lots of politics to circumvent. Her many years of working in mental health, her position in a family of 13, and her advanced degrees all gave her the skills and knowledge that she needed that brought her up to the task. Dr. Goodman opened the school of Worcester State College School of Nursing and accepted its first class in 1974 as planned. She graduated this first class in 1976 as planned. As a graduate of the second class, I can't tell you the impact the school has had on each of our lives and how much a baccalaureate program meant to the nurses in the Worcester area. Dr. Goodman and Worcester State offered us many many opportunities. Many women and men had opportunities that we had never had. The program was here, close to home, in Worcester. During her time at Worcester State, Dr. Goodman not only maneuvered her way through the political minefields through the city and state, she also helped to nurture every nursing student. She always worked and pushed for the most Nursing to just be the most independent discipline. She believes so much in nursing as a profession. You couldn't possibly graduate from Worcester State without a feeling of pride, confidence, and self-assurance, as well as a love of the nursing profession. Most of us graduated with the need to set new, both personal and professional goals. Most of us further advanced our knowledge and skills and I believe that each of us who graduated from this program is a better person for having been exposed to Dr. Goodman. So Lillian, I thank you, and I'm sure that many others thank you for dedicating your life, your spirit, your friendship, and your love to all of us who graduated from this program today. This is the Dr. Lillian Goodman School of Nursing at the University of 
Worcester State University. We'll emotional over this whole thing. <laughs> Thank you. This truly is a wonderful day for the Department of Nursing at Worcester State University. And as I said earlier, I'm damn glad to be here. <laughs> I wish to extend my special thanks to the alumni committee, which initiated the idea, and I understand Ann Burgess was the nucleus of it all, and it spread from Ann to Jean to Ellen, way out there in the state of Iowa, and Stephanie Toluca, Jean, did I say Jean Campanello? Yeah. I said Jean, but not Campanello. <laughs> Stephanie Toluca, and then they needed a little help with getting things kind of, what shall I say, organized, or whom should they turn to, but the one and only former faculty, Mary Kay Alexander. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I appreciate all that you've done to bring this to fruition. And to the Board of Trustees, my heartfelt appreciation for their vote, and I never heard of such a vote, <laughs> to implement something of this nature in, in a college. So, when I got the phone call the day after that historic vote, in the morning, from my good friend Tom McNamara, I was just so overwhelmed and touched. I think I started to shed a few tears. I couldn't talk for a few moments, and that's unusual. Uh, but to me, this represents a tribute. It's not just mine. It belongs to everyone who's been part of this department. A tribute to the excellence of the past students whom we selected with great examination, and the current students and faculty, some of whom are here with us this evening. The hard work that Tom McNamara and the staff of the Office of Institutional Advancement have done to bring this day of celebration of 35 years of professional nursing education at Worcester State University is deeply appreciated. And I would like to just say a special thanks to Louise as a very integral part of Tom's operation. And everyone else too, but Louise and Tom, wow. It's really rather awesome for me to reflect on the contributions our graduates have made and which they continue to make in providing directly or indirectly the best care to patients in central Massachusetts as well as to the state and nationally and internationally. It was a privilege for me to serve as the founding chair of this highly respected Department of Nursing I was challenged to, to fulfill my dream of establishing the best possible education program to prepare for professional nurses to provide care to individuals, to communities, and to be confident to work together as full partners with a range of healthcare providers. Remember, it wasn't so long ago that practically all nurses were women, and all of us who are women know that it was a tough road to hold. And we were pleased when more men came into the profession, and we have now co-educational education for nursing, professional nursing practice. But to have the graduates have the competence, the expertise, to work comfortably as equal partners with the full range of healthcare providers. 
our faculty and administration were essential to our success. And we had deans come and go, we had administrators come and go, but the Department of Nursing stood strong and we did what we had to do. And I will just give a quote, a former dean who became a really good friend and colleague, Dick Sign, some of you might remember Dick Sign. He used to say that, I don't know, when Lillian leaves my office, I have to put my hands in my pockets and make sure I got everything I'm supposed to have. <laughs> faculty that we were able to recruit in the administration were really successful, were essential to our success. So I just want to say thank you to everyone for coming. It meant so much to me to see Ellen and Mary Ann and others who are here as part of the first groups of RN only and then when we got the permission finally to graduate into a college department that could also take people right out of high school, that was progress. <laughs> so thank you to all who are here for your coming and for participating, and I'm delighted that my, so many of my family could come, my good friends and colleagues, and your participation with others in this community to the fundraising effort to make the Dr. Lillian R. Goodman Department of Nursing continue to provide scholarships for students and opportunities for continuing faculty development. So have a great dinner and enjoy the evening and thank you very, very much.